You are one of the key creative minds of the new data visualization tool GetVis. The idea of GetVis is to open new ways of understanding and new perspectives on global economic relations and dynamics. How would you describe this new perspective and why is it important? I think in the project we try to address two very central issues. One is um, there are already a number of visualization tools out there that um, focus very much on um, properties of countries, kind of how many people live there, what's the unemployment rate, and so on. And I think one of the really innovative things of GetVis is that we're focusing on the relationship between countries. And I believe that this is a very, very important matter. It's not enough to simply look at the properties of countries. You have to understand what is the relationship between these countries, especially nowadays when we're looking at uh, issues like migration or trade um, or debt. And all these are issues that you can only really understand if you look at relationships. The second thing we try to address is um, the way how visualizations are perceived and how they're embedded in websites. And it's very often the case that you have a very, a a very focused website where you can only see the visualization itself. What we try to achieve is that you have players like in YouTube that allow you to create your own visualizations and embed them in your own blog. So it's not kind of one monolithic approach. We rather think of it as a very, very dedicated tool that allows you to create your own data views and to embed them in your own website. Building GetWiz, what was your part? That question is a bit tricky to answer. Um, GetWiz was a very, very complex under, uh, undertaking. Um, I think Jan always introduces me as the chief creative consultant or something. Um, I think my role in the beginning was really to, um, to come up with a really new concept for, for a visualization project and to find a unique visual language, to really take care that the user interface is spot on, that the users are really able to, to ask the right questions in the context of the visualization. So um, I would say I, I was responsible for the, for the uh, concept and the design. What were the most difficult complexities to overcome? Um, there are obviously a number of complexities involved in, in such a project. Um, starting off with very, very small things that you hardly notice anymore. For example, we spend ages just getting the, um, the country selecting menu right. It sounds very trivial, you know, but it was a very, very interesting interface design project. Tiny little detail. Um, but I think the overall, the, the greatest task was, of course, the visualization itself. How can you visualize large streams of goods, of money, of people between different countries? What is the right, you know, what is the right visual language for that? You know, if you become too abstract, it might not be readable. If you become too concrete, it's maybe too, ob uh, too, too, too simple. So I think really crafting the visualization was certainly one of the uh, main aspects of the, of the project. What is the trick? Hmm. Um, I think the trick was that we were allowed to completely rethink the, the whole project. Um, we literally started from scratch. And um, we started off with pen and paper and tried to really think, uh, think of a visualization that really addressed these issues that we, um, that we had in mind. And I think another trick was also, uh, in the whole process, we involved power users. We involved people who were really working with visualizations, economists, um, sociologists, designers, and so on. So we really tried to build things, you know, get them out there, show them to experts, get feedback, and then reiterate. And, I also think this is unusual for a visualization project, um, that you really had these different iterations um, and that, us, that allowed us really to craft the experience and craft the visualization. What is the performance spectrum of GetWiz? Can, what can one do with it? The core issue is, of course, global economic relationships. And, um, and I believe that the tool GetWiz really, really allows you to understand and to visualize uh, the global complexities. What really struck me um, was when we took one large table view, 100 values, and we were suddenly able to compress these hundred or thousand values into one image. And this one image said so much more than all these kind of rows of numbers. And uh, I really believe that the, 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 the key strength of GetVis is that it really allows you uh, to understand global economic relations um, and that it allows you to create your own data views and publish them then later on in any context you like. What could be the next steps in, visual, in visualizing economic and global complexities? Um, 
personally, I believe the, the next big step will be uh, to make these, um, the data and the visualizations more personal. Um, we all know the impulse. The first time we show GetVis, people look for Germany. You know, what's happening to Germany and uh, what are the trade relationships and so on and so on. And um, when people say Germany, I think they mean, in a way, they mean themselves, you know. And I really believe that the, 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 the question um, what globalization really means for us as human beings, as individuals, um, is still something that needs to be addressed. And I believe that visualization could play a very, very powerful role in that. Um, so I think the next big step would be to make it more personal to make it more personable um, and that it really would allow us to see ourselves as individuals in this whole complexity of globalization. Which trends in data visualization do you see for the next few years? Um, well, I think one of the major trends is obviously our, um, our mobile, uh, mobile applications. I mean, even nowadays, everyone has a smartphone, uh, tablet computers are everywhere. Um, so I think one big, big step will be that you have, you know, not only visualizations on your tablet, but um, also visualizations that are really relevant for your current position. In, in life or in a city or in a country. Um, and I think, to, again, to make visualizations more personal, more actionable, um, and to, to, to localize them so that you really have a specific place for these visualizations. So I think this is going to be a major shift. 10 years ago, visualizations were about you know, big topics you know, from a big perspective. And I think in the long run, it will be still big topics, but from a much more personal perspective.